So, ta-da! I have a brand new Nintendo Switch for you. Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So I have a gift for you guys today. A brand new Nintendo Switch. Completely new, I haven't even unboxed it yet. You know what, let's just unbox it together. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at it, it's like completely packaged. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, you guys probably know by now from the title, the thumbnail, and what I'm holding right now. I'm going to be customizing this Nintendo Switch, some cases, and I'm going to give it away to you. If you guys are interested, please watch till the end. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to be customizing this and maybe one to two cases to go with it depending on how it goes. And because I'm giving this away, I understand that some people might not want me to like draw on their brand new switch. So to be fair, all I'm going to do is to flip it over and put my signature right here. I'm going to use my gold Posca paint pen and... Oh gosh. Actually, this is my first time drawing directly onto the switch. So I'm kind of nervous. And here we go. And maybe I could put the date. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it, guys. So this is my signature. If you guys don't like this part, you could probably just like wash it off. Maybe get a little bit of acetone and kind of like scrub it off. But if you do like it, you can seal it with some varnish on top or like top coat. I'm going to leave that up to you. Okay, so that's it for the switch itself. No harm done. And I'm going to be customizing these two cases today. For the first case, hmm. How about like Shelly, my original character? And for the other case, I'm currently thinking of drawing digitally and then hydro dip my drawing onto the case. But we'll see if that works or not. If it doesn't work, I'll figure something out. But you know, art is all about trying out new stuff, so I'm going to do my best. So let's just get on with our first case. Okay, so before anything, I obviously wouldn't have been able to do this without Skillshare, the sponsor of this video. So don't go, please let me tell you a little bit about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where there are lots and lots of creative classes. If you like making art or drawing, which I'm sure you do if you're watching my channel, this is the site for you. Ooh, she's so pretty. There's so many great teachers. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. After the free trial, it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription, which I think is so worth it. Like this class, Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit in Your Space by Christopher Griffin, is so great where you can learn how to make plants and make your house really comfortable during this time. He's so sassy. Okay, let's go back to the video. For my first case, I'm going to be using Posca paint pens like always. Seriously, I've leveled up so much from when I first started using Posca paint pens. Practice makes perfect. Well, not perfect at all, but better. <laughs> so I'm going to make a generous layer for the base, the skin, and the hair. Shelly is my original character who's a mermaid that's a maid. I usually draw her in a more cartoonish style, but I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and try drawing her in a more anime style using Posca paint pens. After a generous coat of the first layer, I used a heat gun to dry the paint. Oh my gosh, when I first started drawing with Posca paint pens, I waited sometimes for hours for the paint to dry completely. Heat gun works in a few seconds, so it literally changed my life. Well, maybe not literally, but you get my point. I also used to only like use thick pens and it was so hard to make small details. But I recently bought a pack of really thin pens and they're so easy to use. I use the thin pens to do the outline, mostly for the hair, and then I go in with the thicker pens. After I have the base ready, I start coloring in using Copic markers. Now, when you go over with markers, you need to be very, very, very gentle, like you're stroking a cat. 
That was not the right explanation. But did you see that? I don't know if you saw that, but a chunk of paint came off. Like, you need to be careful because when you put even the slightest amount of pressure, the paint comes off. So whenever that happens, I go over it with Posca paint pen and then go over that with marker again. And I keep repeating that while coloring in the hair. It kind of gets frustrating, but I try to imagine Bob Ross saying that those aren't mistakes, those are happy mistakes. Oh, here's a better close-up view of what I'm talking about. See how the paint comes off? Whenever I lift off the paint, I kind of use that to draw in more strands and use it to make the hair look even shinier. So yes, those aren't mistakes. I normally use a lot of different colors for the hair. I think the more colors, the merrier, and it looks so much better. But you can't really like blend in the colors together, so I kept it at minimum today. I used pink for the bangs, purples for the roots of the hair, and added like the slightest bit of yellow here and there. Okay, the hard part about drawing using this method is that you can't really make rough drafts first. You kinda need to go for it. You can redraw or hide some mistakes by painting on top of it again, but you can't really do that too many times. The paint is going to eventually bunch up and kinda start crackling. Like, you can't do too many layers for the skin. The color is so light, the mistakes become quite obvious. By the way, let me talk about this pen. I bought this skin color pen from the States. I currently live in Japan, and these pens are from Japan, like the company is Japanese and all, but they actually don't sell skin colored pens in Japan, which is so weird. That's why I bought like 5 packs of skin colored pens, which comes with 4 colors, which is not enough at all. But before I bought these pens, they only had like really orange colors or yellow pens that really wouldn't work for skin, so I'm actually enjoying the color expansion. Oh, here comes my favorite part, the eyes. Every drawing comes to life when you draw in the eyes. I added a hint of yellow on the bottom to make like a gradient effect. A little bit of pink on the sides and at the end I added a lot of sparkles. I made like dots all over, all over the eyelids, eyes, hair, outline, just to make it extra sparkly. Just a Minori thing. Okay, um, if you guys don't know yet, I came out with merch. Yay. I put so much effort into them, so it would be great if you could check them out if you haven't yet. Maybe not now, but after this video. We're almost done. I drew Shelly on the left side and left the right side blank because I wanted my signature to be seen even when you put the case on. Like so. What do you guys think? I think we're done with our first case. And now on to the second drawing. For my second drawing, there's this girl that I've always been wanting to draw. Here's my sketchbook. And there's this girl that I drew a while ago. She's my original character. She's like a magical girl witch. Magical girl witch, is it the same thing? I've been wanting to draw her, so I'm going to get my iPad and color her in digitally. Oh my gosh, guys, I need a name for her. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment below. I don't want a simple name, but it's so hard to come up with original names. Like, do you guys know Ojamajo Doremi? It's so interesting how they came up with the name Doremi. Chico. How about Chico? No? Hmm, I need suggestions. Anyways, if you know me, I'm obsessed with like Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura, the Magical Girls, and Harry Potter. I wanted to make a character that has everything of what I really like, and this is how I came up with her. She's basically like a witch kind of magical girl. She has a witch-like hat and a wand, but she's wearing a school uniform. I don't really have a story in my mind yet, but I want to make it into like a group of girls like Sailor Moon. She's obviously the main character, so after a lot of thinking, I decided to give her pink hair. She's the main girl, and I want to make like at least 4 more girls, and make it into a group of 5 girls. By the way, I always say this, but whenever I come up with the original characters, I try to come up with a story. I just think it makes it easier for me to draw, it's easier to see what kind of facial expressions or poses she would make with her personality. 
Oh, and back to the drawing. Here I'm trying a new technique where I color in the middle of her eyelashes with a completely different color. I learned that opposite colors actually makes the drawing look more soft. So I tried drawing her eyelids with green in the middle, but I don't know how to make that work quite yet. Yeah, it looks weird. I need to practice more. So I read that the style of anime girls change with how the economy is doing. This isn't what I noticed myself, but I thought it was an interesting approach. Apparently, when the economy is doing well, the girls in anime during that time in general tend to be looking stronger. And when the economy is doing not too well, the girls start looking kind of softer. And with everything that's going on right now, apparently softer looking girls are more on trend. Which I'm not too sure of yet, but I thought it was really interesting. And we're almost done. Since I wanted to water the cali onto the case, I made the drawing twice as dark. Okay, let's see how this will show up onto the case. I printed the page onto a special sheet for water decals. You need to spray top coat on top of it and leave it for at least 30 minutes for it to completely dry. Then cut off the excess using scissors. Now dip it into the water. After a few minutes, the drawing should start coming off. I then slowly transferred it onto the case. And this is how it turned out. It's not horrible, but I completely messed up. And I think I could do better next time. When you put it on the switch, it was really hard to see in general, so it just didn't turn out to be my favorite. On the other hand, I think the first case turned out really cute. So what do you guys think? Okay, let's be real. While I think this water decal idea is cute, I mean you can just literally print out anything that you want and slap it on with water. However, the execution, I mean it's not like terrible, but it was not perfect. I mean I would definitely use it personally, but it's like no way good enough to give it away as a gift. So today, I think I'm going to give this away as a set. A brand new Nintendo Switch with my signature and a case of a drawing of Shelly. I'm actually really happy with how she turned out, so I think this one a success. Okay, so how to apply for the giveaway? Obviously, I would highly appreciate it if you like, subscribe, comment below. But today, the only thing I'm going to ask you is to check out the link below in my description box and sign up for Skillshare. I mean, I'm only able to do giveaways like this because of Skillshare, and I just think it's fair to check out the site to enter for the giveaway. I mean, it's a really, really great site. You get to learn a lot of stuff, so please, please check it out. Anyways, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!